A recent federal sentencing is the latest success of a domestic violence initiative that honors fallen IMPD officer Brianne Leith. The Leith Initiative works to reduce domestic violence and support survivors. Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli shows us why officials believe it's making our community safer. I think that one of the most important things we can do is get, the, is get firearms that are unlawfully held out of the hands of domestic violence offenders. 50-year-old Bradford Jensen, a 10-time convicted felon, now sentenced to 30 months in federal lockup. His case brought forth for federal charges as part of the Leith Initiative honoring fallen IMPD officer Brianne Leith. I think the devil made something horrible and we've turned it into something good. Jensen pleaded guilty to being a felon in possession of a firearm. Court docs show the gun was found during a 2021 visit by his parole agents related to a 2013 conviction. He was also convicted of domestic battery in 2007. If you're convicted of a domestic violence offense, you can never have a gun again under federal law. Misdemeanor or felony conviction, it doesn't matter. People with final protective orders also can't legally have a gun. In law enforcement, one of the most dangerous things that people do is respond to domestic violence offenders. It was one of those calls on Indy's east side where Officer Leith laid her life on the line. Brianne's family says she was a huge proponent for helping others, including people in abusive situations. Well, I think that she would be very, very pleased. I think that, um, I think we're making her proud. Since the Leith Initiative launched, at least 25 defendants with domestic violence backgrounds have been federally charged with gun crimes. In just the last four months, we've had 11 defendants in these cases sentenced here in federal court. Those sentences ranging from 18 months to 15 years in federal prison for unlawful possession. I didn't realize it was that me. I thought maybe a few, but wow, that's, that makes me really happy. Now others are safer because of her daughter. You hear stories about someone paid for somebody's coffee in front of them and it just keeps going. That's kind of like how I feel this is. She started something. Reporting in Indianapolis, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News.